I've just rolled out of bed, and now it's time for Ren Sport. All right, I'm almost to Salinas or Rensport. Um, been on the road for about four hours and I really haven't seen a lot of Porsches on the road. I know I left really early and um, I, you know, I can't be critical because I'm in a Mazda, but uh, I did see this ahead of me. I really like it. Okay, I finally got a Porsche in my sight. like this is about as far as I can go on one take of gas. It's perfect distance right to Laguna Seca. It's starting to get a little crowded around here and um, the weather is is nice. Uh, it's a little foggy. I guess I got here before the fog lifted so it's kind of mysterious and uh, a little gloomy. All right I am inside the gates of Laguna Seca. Rensport is finally here. Is that the real LMP1 car right there? And may the fun begin. The sounds of glorious motors. This car right here is the car that uh, Porsche just recently built. It's a 20 year old chassis that's been um, completely done by Porsche Classic into a 911 turbo. It's a 993 chassis. go Klaus oh yes oh straight ahead here it comes Come on. This is a pretty common lead area here. You can see the lead has uh, been eaten away. It's kind of flowing out. You never know what lies beneath. It's a 356A engines. You might have heard of the Porsche 959. It's only the most iconic car that they have, arguably. There's eight of them behind me. This might be more than just an average classic car parking. Oh, and I made a mistake. There is nine. This one's just a little bit out of place. 
Some of us like the skinny tire ones too. This one is super special, a uh, I think 52 Pre-A uh, bent window cabriolet. Maybe it's a 51. I'm told Patrick Long is going to be racing one of these Porsche tractors, so I'll try to catch that too. This car is similar to what I'm doing. Um, very close. Mine will not be this color, but I like it. I also like these uh, silver dot gauges. If you've seen my channel, you know I've obsessed about these uh, RS arches a little bit, and uh, this one has some nice ones. Really well done. Oh yeah. So this is literally where Porsche started. This is the number number one Porsche. Porsche number one is right behind me. No guardrails, no do not touch signs, just authentic goodness. Super stoked. There's no doubt how many turbos this car has. The turbos are more prominent than the taillights. This is the famous Gamun Coupe that won first in class in the uh, Le Mans race. I guess this is where my luck runs out. Okay, as you saw earlier, Porsche released a new car today, the Porsche 935. So this is the original 935, and here's the new one with all the people around it. Um, it looks fantastic. It's uh, got a lot of the same cues from the original car. Uh, I'll try to get a better picture. This is unfortunately as close as I can get, but uh, they have it here on the track. It's not just a concept car, it actually drives. Well, That's uh, the new 935 again uh, on, its, on its own power, just going back into the pits. So I'll try to catch up to it. Yeah, go ahead. Legends here uh, signing autographs with uh, a huge crowd. Le Mans. So as you can see guys, this is a pretty special place. I just hiked up here, kind of the top of the corkscrew. Just to wrap up today, um, you know, today's video kind of hopped around a lot. Definitely um, like a kid in a candy store, you know, so many good things to see. Just, uh, you know, you got to kind of take it a little bit at a time. I'm here four days, so I will try to post another video tomorrow. Um, just kind of showing you uh, what I what I see and what I like leave a comment below if there's anything in particular You'd like to see and um, I will do my best to uh, to capture it. Okay. Take care Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already done so